How fragile is President Xi's leadership right now? That's the heart of your book, The Third Revolution. Is he in control of his domestic agenda? Uh, I think that's a really important question to ask right now uh, because he has amassed an enormous amount of institutional power, sits on top of all the most important committees and commissions. You know, he's basically upended the two term limit on the presidency so he can serve for life in the three most important positions. But of course, that institutional power doesn't necessarily equate to legitimacy. Uh, and he's facing a lot of headwinds right now a slowing Chinese economy pushback against the Belt and Road Initiative, obviously the U.S.-China trade war, and of course those massive protests that have been going on for more than three months in Hong Kong. What is the intelligence that we have, the mystery? You see, you've done this since the river runs black, trying to cut through the mystery of domestic China. Is our intelligence good about the Xi government? So I think it's, it's really difficult to get a clear read on what's taking place, you know, within the halls of Zhongnanhai, uh, sort of the elite compound uh, in China where the uh, Chinese uh, leaders live and, and work. Um, but we do have some sense uh, that there have been some, there's been some pushback within the top leadership against some of Xi's overreach. Uh, some of the other senior leaders have not been happy uh, with some of the decisions that he's made that have, have brought uh, negative attention to bear on China. Uh, we know that there are broad-based movements, uh, environmentalists and feminists and LGBTQ, broad groups within the entrepreneurial class and liberal intellectuals, obviously all those officials who have been uh, arrested for corruption, you know, more than 600,000 just last year. There are many what I would call pockets of pretty significant discontent in China. Uh, Xi Jinping mm -hmm. has amassed all this power. That means that when problems emerge, all those problems were down to him.